If you wanted to record your own audio inside of iMovie, let's say for example I have this collage of photos of these birds fighting each other and I would like to record the audio narrating it. I can simply move my playhead where I want this to be, start recording. I can tap on the microphone. Now it's going to show me the audio. Green, yellow, and red. Red means it's too loud and it's peaking. That means you're not going to get the best audio. The best audio you're going to get is where it's near the top of green and it's getting into yellow. Optimally, you want it right in the yellow but not hitting red. So once you have the audio about where you want it to be, you may need to move away from or closer to your iPad to get better sound. Simply tap record. Now a couple of things to think about. The microphone is going to pick up things that you may not hear, such as light buzzing, airplanes in the background, a washer or dryer. Before you record audio, it's a good idea to close your eyes and listen. If you hear sounds, the iPad's going to hear them as well and record them. I'm going to go ahead and hit record. It's going to give me a countdown. And now it's recording and I can narrate the story of the eagles who fought. There was once a big eagle who got angry at the other eagle. He went down and he had a big fight. So obviously my story needs a little bit more work in creating a narration. But what it's doing is it's recording what I'm saying right along with the pictures. And when I'm done, I tap stop. I can review my audio to see if it's good. I can retake it if I know it's bad because I messed up. Or I can cancel if I change my mind. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and accept the audio. And now you can see my audio is here. I can play it. And now it's recording. And I can narrate the story of the eagles who fought. There was once a big eagle who got angry at the other eagle. He went down and he... So you can hear the audio that I've just recorded. I can select this audio. I can change the volume on it. I can also fade it. So if I want it to fade in at the beginning or fade out at the end, Fade basically means that the sound goes from zero to what you hear. So it's kind of going up on a slide. You can also tap over here the three arrows. You can split. So if I want the audio to split at a certain point, if I want to move it to a background or if I want to duplicate it, I can. Now if I need to cut out part of it, just as video, I can tap on the yellow handle and I can trim it. so that it's shorter or so that it goes back to the beginning. So there's a lot of things that you can do with audio and not only can I have my audio track of me talking and narrating, I can also add in music and sound effects. So if I go to the theme music, I'm going to go ahead and use the travel. I can put it down here. I have both sound effects. The music's too loud. I can tap on the music and I'm going to go ahead and bring the music down, but I'm going to start my audio right there. I'm looking at where the peak is. That's where I want to start my audio. I'm going to split that audio clip by moving it over the playhead. I slice down. and Now I can go ahead and delete this first audio. So I'm going to hear my music. I can now hear my audio. I'm going to tap on my audio. I'm going to fade it in. I'm going to split the audio down here on my background. And I'm going to bring this audio level down. So now you're going to hear a transition between the two audios. So this audio is going up. This audio went down. He went down and he had a big fight. So you can do a lot with audio inside of iMovie.